Right, so today's video we're going to be doing a top five of the speedsters in Disney Speedstorm. Um, I mean, it's what the game's named after, so <laughs> I guess, yeah. Um, speedsters is a difficult one because I think they're all they're all pretty good. And, you know, all of the, every character that I'm going to talk about in the top five is worth investing in, at least somewhat. That being said, I think number five is probably Mickey Mouse. And I know a lot of people, a lot of people will say that Mickey Mouse is a little bit, um rubbish but what i will say is mickey is one of those characters that will get better the more you invest in him the more investment and that's true with every character i guess but is mickey is one of those characters where you will see the investment Probably the quickest. Like once you get him to once you get him to like four stars or five stars, you can't you can't beat this guy. Like that's, and I think the best thing the only the only place Mickey is going is up because there it, it, it's so obvious that there's going to be a game mode where. Uh, you're going to need to be like working in a team or like there's going to be like a group thing where you're going to where it's going to be like a, a team based game mode whether it's like a team based battle mode or or like a team based like race thing um yeah i think that's probably what mickey is built for so even if you're looking at Mickey at the moment and you're you're seeing his abilities and you're like, oh, but this helps people that I don't want to. And like, yeah, but he's he's so fast. He's he's all about speed, which is what speedsters should be about anyway. And he's just good. He just, he gets from point A to point B quickly. And that's what a racing game should be about. So, yeah, there are other characters that are way more flashy than him. There are other characters that do more stuff. But he gets from the start of the track to the end of the track a maximum of three times quicker than a lot of other characters do. So, therefore, he's number five in my top five. Uh, number four, controversially, I think I'm going to put... I think I'm going to put Mike. Mike is still very good. But I think there's a, I think there's a lot of characters that have come out that can either destroy his doors, that are just quicker than him, uh, and that just I think without his doors, Mike is almost obsolete. Mike is just another character. When he when you can't access your doors, um, he's just not great. But when you are able to like get to get like a few doors in a row, um, when you are able to like tee stuff up nicely, it works really well. And Mike can still be a massive force to be reckoned with and can still be very scary. On the track, I just think there are a lot of characters that are like either projectile based. Like Stitch is a is a massive like um, S Stitch is a um, like big uh, 
thing to use against Mike because you've got loads of projectiles around him. Counter. He's a big counter uh, for Mike. So, and yeah, we are seeing more projectile-based characters in the game. Like, characters like Jafar, characters like um, Jasmine, characters like um, Hans, even. Uh, characters like Steamboat Pete. Uh, characters that fire off a lot of projectiles or fire off large projectiles are probably going to be are a big reason why Mike is falling down. He used to be the best character in the game. At the moment, he's he's just and he has been nerfed quite a few times. But I still think I still think he's quite good. Uh, that brings me over to. Not you, not yet anyway. That brings me over to Bell. Bell I think Bell I think is good. Bell I think is a solid number three trickster. Because I think her So her Her regular, um, her furniture, useless. It's been outclassed by Jesse. It's been outclassed by any, like, projectile that moves. Any, like, um, just big bulk projectile. Uh, I think it's been, it's been outclassed. It's still good for when... For like the really skinny tracks. But I think the game is moving away from those. Like the really narrow tracks. Um, but I think just her stats. And her charge skill. Which gives you the boosts. That if you keep chaining. Uh, gives you like chain boosts. That's so good. That is a lot better than anything else and Belle is also another character that will get better when when this inevitable group or team game mode comes into the game I'm operating off of the off of the off of the idea that that makes sense to put in the game not of a, any like um, confirmation that we've gotten that that is gonna happen i think wally gets a gets an honorable mention but i don't want to put him on the list because he is such a bull lake to get because he's such a bull lake to get bell is also a big bull lake to get but she's been in the game for a long time now that people who, and she is one of the characters you can choose as your starting character but Wally is just a bullet to get. He's great. He is good. But he is annoying to get. Um, my number two... The number two character... Uh, speedster... Is Stitch. Why? Why is it Stitch? It's because of that acceleration mainly, and because of his ability. Just being able to fire like what feels like a thousand bullets at once. Like just getting endless amounts of stuns and even still even with the amount of bullets reduced it feels like this is impossible to avoid so it will hit people in front of you it will hit people to the side of you it will hit people behind you it will hit basically anywhere and everywhere and they bounce off the walls 
So narrow tracks, he's amazing for. Um, the wider tracks, he's also great for. And he's just he's just quick. He's just he's fast. He's nimble. He's getting everywhere, and he's got a really good ability. And he starts off a cloak, which is the best normal ability in the game. Like, regular ability that anyone can get. And then, in my opinion, the best speedster is Jasmine. Why? Pretty simple. Her ability... Calls Raja to aid her for a long period of time. This, before her buff, you know, that was the only, um, only a bit of, the only bit of text that was there was, he runs ahead of Jasmine and, sl uh, and slashes her opponents, stunning them with his calls. If this, if, if Jasmine didn't get buffed, at the start of season six, she wouldn't be on this list. Stitch would be the number one. Number five would probably be Eric or Wally. Um, but the buff, Jasmine replenishes Nitro Fuel while Raja is unleashed. This is pretty. This works pretty much the exact same as Sully's skill, and we all know how good Sully is. Um, from previous, and if you want to know how good Sully is, check my pre previous tier lists, uh, or wait for the next video in this series where I'll be counting down top five brawlers. Um, yeah, replenishing nitro fuel is so useful, so needed, and when you combo that in with dash, you combo that uh, combo that in with the amount of stuns that you'll be getting. Just combo that in with just her stats in general. Her stats in general are, are pretty good. And you you add that to to a really good unique skill, which essentially works like a a charge anyway, but with added stuns. It's just great. It's great. It's a beautiful animation as well, like bringing out Raja. It's a great animation. And, yeah. She's just, she's the best speedster in the game. At the moment, anyways. Because I think Vanellope, if Vanellope is a speedster, not a trickster, I think Vanellope might take her place. Because I don't, I don't see anyone, I don't see anyone else that could, could be the speedster. Calhoun is obviously a brawler. Wreck It Ralph is obviously also a brawler. Fix It Felix, he's a. Fix It Felix is a defender. Vanellope's the speedster. And King Candy is the trickster. There you go. Jobs are good. <laughs> but yeah, best, best speedster in the game is Jasmine. Uh, little bonus, Lilo is the worst speedster in the game. Very nearly the worst character in the game. Avoid upgrading Lilo at all costs unless you need her for an event. Or she gets a buff anytime soon. Like with the start of Season 7 or anything. She got nerfed at the start of Season 6. She wasn't very good before the start of Season 6. But yeah, quick recap. Number number five, Mickey Mouse. Number four, Mike. Number three was Bell. Number two was Stitch. And number one was Jasmine. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you did, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Or don't. I'm not your dad. I don't need to tell you what to do. Do it if you want to. I uh, will see you guys in the next video. Peace.